All right, when you have a movie title like Padre Pio, I expect a movie about Padre Pio. Chase Lackey here with the Blue Futon reviewing Padre Pio. So what's this about? I'm going to call it a very simple premise. We are following Padre Pio where he goes to this Italian you know, cemetery, if you want to put that, not cemetery, synagogue or church, whatever you want to call it. Synagogue's Jewish. Jeez, I don't know my religions, do I? <laughs> anyway, he goes to a church and kind of lives there and he has these horrible imagery, horrible past, if you want to put it that way. And he always yells and he feels like he's always tortured. But what's happening in the town of Italy is this fascist socialist movement. And they try to make it the same movie and it just doesn't work so we are talking about the pause of the show everyone is saying silo buff is not cast correctly i didn't have a problem with him whatsoever his storyline was the most intriguing i want to know about this character because there there's a reason why he's a saint and this movie doesn't show why he's a saint this shows that he's a tortured soul and he loves religion he loves the church and he loves god and he feels a huge connection with jesus christ but you just don't get it with this movie. There's one scene at the very end, and there's a couple scenes in between where he touches someone and that person could walk. But that's all that shows. It shows it, and it shows this old lady kind of go like, oh, snap, something just happened. But but you don't get anything else. Most of the movie is about this red socialist movement in Italy, which, yes, I know for a fact I re- reviewed a, uh Indian movie about so- socialism. I don't personally think any type of socialism is fucking garbage. Fascism is garbage. Even though the Antifa here in the United States, they are fascists because they block speech and they block people from doing anything they want to do. If you're the ones that are, you know, I don't want to get political, but if you're the ones that are letting children do sexual stuff and you're okay with it, you're, you're a fucking creep. But we're talking about the movie and when we're talking about Italy, yes, as I know this is about you know World War One, World War Two time frame about how the town folk is like, you shouldn't fight for your country. And that's where I get a little bit odd with this one where you do have these intellectuals in these career fields or in these political movements so like what have you actually done you went to college and now you think you know everything about the fucking world and i just think that storyline had nothing to do with padre pio whatsoever so i think this director or whoever wrote this movie really didn't know what the hell they wanted to do like they really wanted to do the socialism fascist anti-fascist movie but it wasn't going to get produced so they added let's add padre pio to do some stuff like 30 minutes, 40 minutes of this film, and the rest will be this other random storyline in Italy. And it just doesn't work. This genre blending, even it's not a genre blending, it's just a drama that just doesn't work. Uh, I think the directing is not good. How they filmed it wasn't good. The cinematography, some scenes were just freaking damn awkward. Especially when you're watching Padre Pio like yell at night and these weird visions and how it's shot. It just feels freaking experimental in a bad way. If you're making a movie about this, I'm trying to think of like, what's another movie about a priest? Okay, Father Stu. That's more conventional. And I completely agree. But at least that movie has something to do with Father Stu the whole time. What he's trying to do with the medical, his relationship with his father. Here, it just doesn't work. What does this socialist fascist movement have to do with Padre Pio? Nothing. Yes, there is something about, oh, some of the groups are given to the church. But that has nothing to do with Padre Pio. That has nothing to do with him. So this movie falters on all freaking levels. And I was intrigued to watch this one. I was like, okay, the trailer is kind of cool. And there's this one scene where, especially where this girl is like, okay, that's really weird. And the weird nudity scene is weird. It's an awkward scene. But it was a scene where he's like, get out, say Jesus Christ, get out. Because she was having sexual desires with her daughter and he was like i can't help you i literally can't help you and i think i understand that because some people can't be helped and he just like you can't be saved and i mean i think that's some damn truth to some people but overall padre pio there's some every time shia buff was on screen i was intrigued 110 percent every time it was a socialist movement i was not intrigued so 70% was the socialist fascist stuff, 30% with Padre Pio stuff, 
you kind of know my score. Padre Pio will receive a one and a half out of five with futons. He was at 30%. So see the critics junior scores gave this one. So you have critics a 28%. 40 of them are score 33% with 50. Critic consensus. Totally unbalanced and burdened with a distracting shadow buff performance. Padre Pio is one of Abel Ferreira's less divine works. I don't mind Shadow Buff's performance. It was just a totally unbalanced and didn't know what. Who was it? The same writer that directed it? Nope. No. Well, he, yeah. Two writers. If one of the writers is the director. Doesn't work. I'm sorry. It it, it was cheap. 30, 33, 28. Chase off with the Blue Food Tonight. Comment, subscribe. I'm not thinking Blue Ton Toby. Blue Ton just watch a great day. I don't care what I just take tomorrow, a month around, a week around, a year from now. I love every single freaking one of you. And yeah, just no. I'm I'm so bummed at this one. It's not going to get the worst of the year, but it's sure going to be one of the bottom movies. Barnum.